Hi, I'm Dan Maloney and I'm Deputy Director of Animal Care and Conservation for the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. Every day I get to work with tremendous staff and incredible animals. One of our really notable residents here is Laurel and she's a 47-year-old bonobo. The Great Apes team works with Laurel on a daily basis and they've trained her so that she'll submit to an ultrasound voluntarily. They started suspecting that she might be having some problems and they got our animal health team involved. They looked at the ultrasounds and realized that we needed help. And that's when we called in our friends from North Florida OBGYN and UF Health. So we, our keepers uh, were doing a routine test on some of the animals for pregnancy and Laurel, our 47 year old, showed up positive, um, which is way post reproductive age in these animals or so we thought. So that led them to begin ultrasound training with volunteer sonographers who noted that there may have been a mass in her uterus. So we've monitored that for about two weeks and it started growing which made us concerned and so we contacted lots of colleagues and consultants and um, thought that this could be what's called a molar pregnancy and to our knowledge this has not been reported in apes before and so we've contacted OBGYNs and the bonobo veterinary advisors and try to get her into surgery and, and take it out today with the help of our colleagues at the North Florida OBGYN clinic. So today we had to do an, a spay, essentially remove the uterus on this bonobo. Um, it's an unfortunate medical condition that should be solved by removing the uterus. She did have low blood pressures, but she responded to medical intervention, and we managed to get her ventilating better, get her blood pressure up, uh, get her doing more normal physiologic behavior. Uh, I'd say it, it went very well. Um, minimal bleeding, uh, the uterus is re removed, the problem is removed. I think she's doing pretty good. So. Yeah, I think we're all pleased. Anytime we do anesthesia, there's always a risk, and the fact that Laurel, at her age, and the fact that she did as great as she did with the support of the, the anesthesiology team and our vet team and vet techs, um, the fact that she is up and moving around already, and I, I think probably already looking for her next meal, um, that, that she's gonna make a good recovery. So we're ecstatic about that. Really, really proud of everyone's efforts here. The team did a great job. They worked on her uh, in record time. They found that she definitely needed the surgery. Had she not, she probably would have perished. She's doing really well, better than any of us ever expected, and she's recovering at a great rate. We're gonna look at her closely so there's no infection, but she'll be back in her group in no time.